All right, uh, get started here. I heard today was signing day. So I'm looking at this list to see who, who signed with the Mountaineers and looks like we got some good, uh, some good recruits. Um, it's a lot less stressful is, is kind of my point on saying that. It's a lot less stressful than it's been. <clears throat> you know, I think uh, Ryan Dorchester and the recruiting world did a good job with these guys. Uh, you know, we signed, uh, you know, we had two uh, already here, obviously, because they start, they count as a part of this signing class. When you lose your, uh, when you fill your allotted 25, the only way you can go beyond that is, is to bring guys in and, and, and in August, which we did with uh, Van Darius and, and, um, and Isaiah. So had two and we got 16 today. So that's, that's a good, that's a good day today. So, um, you know, we're at sitting here at 18. So we got seven more that we'll go identify here between now and, and sometime in the summer. So it's nice to be able to, um, you know, kind of reassess after uh, the early signing period to, as far as what we need moving forward. So we'll be back out on the road in, in January to, to uh, continue to do research and to continue to recruit guys and uh, bring in uh, about seven, seven more here, here moving forward. So like where we're at with that, uh, you know, really, I mean, they're all good players, and we're excited about having them all and all that and don't have time. And I can go through each and every one of them, but then we can't talk about anything else because time would be up. So, uh, but, but you know, you got your, your, your list there, and you all know who they are anyway. But I think it's a, it's a great, <coughs> it's a great uh, group of guys. Um, we have uh, four coming in at midterm, you know, got a lot of good quality high school guys uh, from all over, uh, you know, uh, uh, probably uh, – you know, give uh, Coach Belk, uh, Doug, a, a shout out just for, for doing a great job in Georgia. That's been a high priority of ours. We've, um, you know, really focused on, on Georgia the last few years. And, and um, you know, I've spent all three weeks pretty much down in, in Georgia down in, in December. And it's outstanding football down there. And we're going to continue to work hard at getting getting guys from, from, from that area. So, you know, he brought in – Four high school guys from there, <laughs> and then um, Dre Sean, the the junior college corner, was a a big get for us. He'll be here in, in January. Um, you know, he's originally from Georgia, uh, played with the Brown brothers and Isaiah Esdale out uh, in Arizona. So had some connections there that that were good. So uh, excited about that class. Um, any any questions recruiting wise? Any biggest needs you identified? I guess almost a year ago. For this class, and, and, and why do you feel you met those at least to this point with, with knowing you still got space? To go yeah, I, I'm biggest needs. I don't I don't know. I mean, every every position's always a need. You know, we want to continue to bring guys in. I mean, you look at it. I am really. I mean, I got my master sheet in the back that I look at as far as what we still have on the board, which can change based on how good players are. You know, I mean, we go out there and we if we're not and you know I could. Honestly, say we're probably not looking for a running back right now because we got a really good one and Tony Mathis, and we have four coming back. You know, so, but you know, if if uh, you know, but things happen all, all the time, as we all know. And but if there's just a great, great, great one, we may re reevaluate that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think that was just an example. Uh, but uh, we're always looking for the best players we can. We're always looking to uh, create as much competition as we possibly can. Uh, Obviously, quarterback <laughs> quarterback is, is still in need at this point. Hadn't signed one. Um, and, you know, I think you all can figure out what we've been successful with with quarterbacks and what we will continue to try to look for in quarterbacks. Um, you know, we've only got two on scholarship right now. I just got done coaching them hard out there a few minutes ago. And uh, we, will, we will obviously probably bring somebody in in the summer, um, you, know, um, you know, moving forward, still looking for who we can get. So we're always, we're always, we know what our needs are and we're going to continue to look at that and evaluate that. I think every semester, one benefit to having upwards of seven guys is you never know what's going to happen the next semester, you know. So, you know, when we get here in January and, and you know, there may be some guys that we were counting on that may not be a part of the team. Who knows what, how things happen. Um, I, do, I do want to talk about academics uh, for a minute. This uh, grades came out today. Um, I couldn't be more excited about who's running our academics in the back. Brittany O'Dell is an absolute superstar. 
Um, she's been with us now for, I think, four years. That was, yeah, she, this is her fourth. Uh, so she's uh, doing as good of a job as I've ever seen. Uh, just the relationship she has with uh, our players, our staff. She's in every one of our staff meetings. She knows everything that's going on around here. Uh, great relationship with the players, great relationship with, with the faculty across campus. She, she is an absolute superstar. Um, <clears throat> you know, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't be happier with her performance. Could, can't thank her enough. Uh, uh, for, you know, uh, once again, uh, this is the third year in a row, all players are eligible for the bull. Um, there's no six hour concerns, no nine hour concerns. Um, overall team GBA this, this semester was 2.98. That's the highest ever. Um, hell, that's better than what I did at times in, in, in college. Um, think about that, 120 guys. I mean, there's an overall GPA of 2.98. Uh, we had zero Fs. I mean, I'm not talking, I'm zero Fs. Like for every one of our players, zero Fs. Nobody had below a 2.0. Uh, it's just unbelievable. 66 of our players had 3.0 or higher. That's more than half the team had 3.0 or higher. So I, it's just, it's unreal. I mean, it just, you know, and I think our coaches do a great job of keeping our, our players accountable academically, having her in the building in the back and uh, just interacting with her on a daily basis and it is, is outstanding. So I, I commend our academic department for, <laughs> for uh, you know, helping, helping us as a, as, a, as a football program to be able to achieve the success that we're having as, as student athletes. Um, you know, we you know, graduated another seven guys, you know, 10, 10 played this year with their degree and we just added seven more. So 17 people in the bowl game will be, will, will be graduated as seniors. So that's not even counting some of the juniors that have already graduated. So um, that's about as good as it gets. I, I, haven't, I haven't seen a, a situation like this that's that good. So uh, we're, we're thrilled to death about that. Any other signing day questions? Besides uh, Drayshawn, who's going to be here early? Yeah, I got four total. Um, Taj Alston, you know, D. Lyman, uh, from, from, he's originally from North Carolina. Uh, Kerry Martin, uh, down from Charleston. Uh, Drayshawn, and who'd I miss, Dor? Is Dor in here? Dor's not in here. Dor probably went home. He's, uh, um, who am I forgetting? There's one more. Kerry, 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 Drayshawn. Winston, James, Taj, yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. There should be one more. <coughs> we'll find yeah, out. there's one more. I'll figure it out. If somebody knows where Dora is, call, call Dora and ask him who the fourth one is. We'll figure it out. We're recruiting the junior college players. How important is it that they are December graduates and can enroll early? Is that a kind of a... a Big line for you. Helps. I, it, it's a point where it, whether it's a junior college or whether it's or high school guys like like Kerry. I mean, he's coming in as a as a high school guy. That 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 gets him so far ahead. Um, you know, you, you you try to recruit junior college guys because that's what your need is. But <clears throat> you know, I mean, there's we're, we've we've uh, brought a lot of junior college guys in here that are three for three. You know, that have a sit year and still have two years to play. So, um, you know, whether it, it, whether it's high school, whether it's JUCO, it doesn't matter. It's about if you have the ability to be able to come in early, that just gets you so much work in the spring semester. You know, um, you know pretty much all of them will be here in June. Um, but that extra six months or whatever is, is, is valuable. There's a, there's a handful of states that produce a ton of talent. What is it about Georgia that you guys have really honed in on? Well, Doug has a good relationship with a lot of people down there. I just think proximity is good. You, 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 the, the Atlanta to Pittsburgh connection is really easy. There's about eight flights a day. You know, there's a lot of, you know, there's a, a large part of Atlanta that are full of kids that, <clears throat> that didn't grow up in Georgia. They got a ton of move-ins. You know, that's just a fast-growing city, you know, and, and – uh, you, you're that close to a hub that gets you to Pittsburgh seven times a day. It's 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 easy to convince guys to jump on airplanes. We've, uh, you know, had success with guys there in the past. Obviously with Pac-Man and Bruce, and uh, it's just it, it's a, it's a really it's really good football. 
Uh, I think it's as, as well a coached of, of a football state as I've seen. They got great talent. They got great population and play really good football. I was down there a week ago, Tuesday and Wednesday, for their state championship games that they held in in the, the Mercedes-Benz um, thing. And they had them on Tuesday and Wednesday because their soccer team played on the previous Saturday and they won the Major League Soccer National World Championship. So they had to move them to a Tuesday and a Wednesday. They had four games Tuesday, four games Wednesday. Uh, and the entire city was sold out of hotel rooms just because there's, you're, they have, whether it's 1A all the way up through 7A, uh, it, it's unreal how many people go to those games. It's just incredible football and, um, you know, really well coached and <clears throat> a lot of talent, so it makes sense for us. I wish I would have stumbled on it and focused on it earlier, um, but um, it's been good for us. Can you talk about continuity with your staff? When, when it comes to recruiting, how important is that? I mean, other than Jake, you, you know, your staff's been in, in place for a little while? Yeah, I think so, and, you know, dora has been here for – a long time too and you know we got a good recruiting plan and we've had guys in areas uh, and you know we we have a recruiting strategy and we know what we're focused on and we know uh, if it's not a good fit don't sit there and play games let's just move on and and whatever we sign at, at this point today we know how to we know how to we know how to fill it out okay a couple things on the bowl uh, excited about going to Orlando uh, we, we know these guys, um, you know, from a program perspective. You know, first of all, just being able to go to Orlando is outstanding. We love it down there. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, a lot of our guys were down there a couple years ago, um, you know, so we understand uh, that it's, uh, it's a, one of the best bowl destinations that you can ask for. Uh, Camping World people do a really great job with uh, with hospitality and facilities and the stadium's awesome and the hotels are good with the resorts and uh, the theme parks so it, it doesn't get any better than than this and then you play Syracuse who we've played what 60 times or something like that how many times you play against them Wolf? Six. every year every year <laughs> what was that six years uh, we have great history with Syracuse we all get that we all understand that it's been a it's been a heated rival game for Forever, not too far removed from playing against them. You know, my first two years we did, and they won both. You know, w well aware of that. Uh, Coach Marone, when he was there, did uh, a, a really outstanding job. And uh, you know, me and Coach Babers go way back. He's he's a uh, you know the Texas connections that we have, and uh, <clears throat> you know was at spent time at Baylor, which we can figure out that he spent time at Baylor based on what they do on offense. I do have uh, a lot of respect for him and. Uh, you know, his, 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 his offensive guys and his defensive guys, you know, a lot of them were at Bowling Green together for three years. They won a lot of games. We ended up studying their games based on Maryland uh, when they beat Maryland for, for two years in a row or whatever it was. So um, we're familiar with their style of play, with, with, with what they do. Um, you know, they've got uh, – and their defensive coaches as well. I tell you, they're full of a, a, a lot of coaches that have worked their way up through the – the coaching ranks, small schools had success, got jobs, and and uh, you know they're they're doing a heck of a job at Syracuse. Got a lot of excitement surrounding their program. <clears throat> I know he just signed a, you know, a, a, an extension. He's happy there. He's 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 you know the whole staff seems to be happy with the continuity that they have, and um, you know the excitement shows when you watch him play. You know they're 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 good. That quarterback's really a good player. Uh, Dungy's really good. Been running it for three years now. Uh, does a, does a great job. Runs their offense. They know what they're doing. They play fast. They've snapped the ball more than anybody but one team. I don't know who the first team is, but they're second. So 80, 80, almost 83 snaps a game. <laughs> so well, it it'll it'll look familiar uh, uh, based on who we've played. Uh, and then defensively, they they play their tail off. Now, I mean, they give up some some plays, and it looks like they give up yards. Uh, but they play really good defense. They're, they're sound with what they do. Their schemes are incredibly sound. They, they fly around. They play hard. They're aggressive. They play, you know, tight man coverage. They blitz you. They, they um, you know, are really good in key situations. So I, I, they have my attention as far as what they do, not only defensively, obviously, but offensively, and then special teams as well. You know, got the, the Lou Groza guy. They... You know, you look at it, they, they got good return guys. You know, Ten's a, a quick little dude that, that 
um, takes chances, both punt return and kick return. So, um, you know, and then they're solid in, that, in, the, in the punt and, and kickoff uh, game as well. So, uh, solid team, nine and three, you know, top 20. You know, got two loss, two of those three losses are to CFP teams. Uh, so, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a challenge now. And, and we've had about four good practices out there, uh, uh, actually three against Syracuse. We'll practice again tomorrow against them. We'll practice Friday morning against them. Uh, then, as I usually do, I let them go home for a few days, and then we'll reconvene in Orlando on Monday, um, ready ready to play. And I think our guys will be ready to play. You know, they we, you know, after the the disappointing end of the season, <coughs> uh, you know, it's still a good football team. Uh, we've done a great job of of next guy up needs to get in there and play, and and I I, I don't feel this will be any any different. So uh, I think we'll be ready to go. Questions on the game. With, with what goes into the decision making as far as how many live practices or how many hitting days you have when you've had this break between the last game and now? You don't have much. Uh, if, if you recruit the right way, uh, you know, we were on the road recruiting for three weeks and you can't practice them for finals. And so you, back here on the weekends, you have recruiting weekends. So we got together about once, you know, um, prior to this week. And then you practice all week this week if you – uh, if you if you practice them too hard, then they don't want to play. So you know you got to just have a good balance of getting your work done and getting them prepared and keeping them in shape. You know we you know we got a really good strength and conditioning program in the in the basement that those guys were in their world for about three weeks. So we've healed up. Well, we were banged up after Oklahoma. I think we had about five linemen out. You guys saw it. Uh, but we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're back to being healthy. We've, we've practiced good this week. We'll prepare and get down there. And you can't wear them out once you're down there now. You do. It's, 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 it's bad news. So we'll be ready to go. Dana, Dana one of your recruits today said that you told him that he was going to, that you were going to call plays, excuse me, and be offensive coordinator next year. Have you made that decision? Uh, I have for this game. You know, I'm. I don't reevaluate everything once the year's over. I'm getting back in the swing of things. My fingers are all cramped up because I'm signaling plays again, and and uh, it's I've been cooped up, so I'm 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 having a good time with it. And um, you know, I think Jack and Trey both have have done a great job. They're both repping. I'm planning on probably playing them both. Um, you know, so we, we've been coaching them pretty hard and. <laughs> you know, uh, Blackwell was a pretty good quarterback. I don't know if you guys know that. Uh, you know, so he's been spending some time with them out there. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously used to what we're doing and used to calling it and all that. So I'm, I'm comfortable with where we're at as an offense. Um, and uh, still got a lot of good players, you know, missing a few. And, you know, Gary's not playing. I'm sure you guys know. Uh, he is, you know, he, he battled a high ankle for six weeks towards the end of the season. I don't know how he did what he did against Oklahoma because he hasn't practiced in six weeks. And, uh, you know, he's got a lot ahead of him. You know, he's playing and trying to play in the East West game, uh, trying to get to the combine and play. So, you know, he, he just, he made a decision. He needs to get healthy and I respect that. Uh, we got some good young receivers that have been playing uh, really good, you know, Bryce and Sam both have practiced really hard and they're playing really hard. So it gives them an opportunity to be able to play. And I'm, I'm pretty jacked up about coaching those guys and coaching, coaching Jack and coaching Trey and put them in situations to see how they handle it. So um, it's where we're at currently with our offense. And I, like I do everything else, I will reevaluate what's going on here. As soon as the game's over, I decompress and figure it out. Dana, on that, if you don't mind, um, is that something you want to do? Because you seem like you really liked. I want to win, so whatever we got to do to win. You know, I, I've got a fairly decent history of calling plays that work. And I've got a history of calling plays that don't work. So um, uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm enjoying it. I like doing it. You know, deep down inside, I can be all the CEO crap. I do as much of the CEO crap as I want to. I like football, and I like calling plays, and I like coaching offense. <clears throat> so that's what our team needs me to do right now, and that's what I do. Put together a plan for this 
you plan for Syracuse or what your quarterbacks can do? How do you? Oh, do I know what our quarterbacks can do. Um, we didn't just add them to our team yesterday. So I know what those guys can do. And, you know, you, you talk about I, the guys get into a backup quarterback mode and they just plateau for a while. And then once they're no longer a backup quarterback, those guys, they, they, they elevate pretty quickly. So I couldn't be happier with what Jack's doing out there. He's spinning that thing now. And then Trey is like, you know, that, you know, this red shirt thing, this new red shirt rule, it's awesome. I mean, I don't know, would be in some, would be in deep crap if I didn't have that rule right now, you know? So, you know, Trey gets to play and he's going to play. And, and I can't wait to see what he does. Um, you know, Sam's going to play in red shirt. Bryce is going to play in red shirt. Um, Mike Brown right now is starting left guard. He's going to play in red shirt. Um, you know, T.J. Banks is going to play in red shirt. Bryson Mays is our backup center right now. He's probably going to play. So Quantel Reigns is going to play. I mean, this is awesome. You know, you can sit there and, and be upset with, you know, Will Greer and Yadney and Gary Kazang in a play. I mean, those are, those are pretty good reasons why they wouldn't. I'm good because we got a whole bunch of other people on our team that, that get an opportunity to go play a football game. We're practicing our, our butt off and – Get to get those guys out there and, and see what happens in a live setting. I don't, I don't. That's awesome to me, and and we're not killing a year. And then they go, they come back in here in January after that kind of an experience and that kind of a, uh, you know, an opportunity to be able to go play. They're going to be different people in January because of it. Have you mapped out a plan how you want to use the quarterback shit? Could you split them? Yeah, I've got it all figured out, and I'm going to tell you right. They're going to play. I don't know how else to sell you. I mean, those guys are going to play. I mean, they're, they're, I'm happy with both of them, and, and they're going to play. So I'm going to keep practicing, come up with a good plan, and, and, and go execute it. Can't tell you that either, Bob. I mean, let your imagination wander. More importantly, let's let Syracuse's imagination wander. <laughs>